Today I'll be talking about uh, screen bottom boards and why every beehive should have one. Basically I started beekeeping under the supervision of my dad. He has been doing beekeeping for over 30 years. He will be guiding me and helping me um, you know, for the next couple of years to make sure I'm doing it right. So I'll tell you why me and my dad love these screen bottom boards so much. Uh, what it is is basically a, a bottom that goes underneath your hive and some beekeepers may not know this but bees naturally shake off for over mites and if you have a screen bottom board um, some sources online state that you up to 25 percent of aroma mites uh, will naturally fall through these screen bottom boards so this thing just comes out after they fall through this screen uh, you and I'll show you in just a second exactly everything that falls through the screen so and then afterwards you can take this out and you know get rid of everything that falls on it we actually put a coconut oil on our screen bottom boards so that um, not just for varroa mites whatever falls through the screen will basically die like beetles we we get beetles all the time falling through the screen and they could cause a lot of issues in the hive and then when they fall they get stuck in the oil and they die that way they don't crawl back in because beetles will do that another cool thing about these screen bottom boards is when all that stuff falls through the screen bees don't have to work as hard in the beehive you'll be surprised on how much time bees spend on cleaning the hive getting rid of all the crap in the hive which can take a lot of time so this will definitely uh, make it easier for them this way they don't have to clean as much and they can focus the energy on other stuff that's more important you know for survival in the hive so as you can see this hive we treated with thyme oil just a little bit and this is about three days after we treated with thyme oil and we have spread coconut oil all over this screen bottom board so what happened um so as you can see we you will as you can see there's tons of varroa mites falling through the screen and but also you could see beetles and you know worms um this is probably beetle uh, larva falling through the screen and then um, tons of other crap. I mean, imagine how much less work the bees have uh, to do now, now that they don't have to take all of this stuff out of the hive. They can focus that energy on bringing honey or um, nourishing a brood and, you know, possibly more important tasks in the beehive. So we really love the screen bottom boards for this reason, not only um, this is not only a great addition to, you know, battling varroa mites naturally, but also um, it, makes, uh, uh, it makes a hive much healthier. We'll be posting other strategies on how to battle varroa mites naturally. Um, we don't use, just to let everyone know, even though we're posting different strategies, um, we use, the way we approach varroa mites is not with one thing, it's actually several different things. Uh, which works in combination very well and then so that we don't have to use chemicals and that my dad is a bit old school and a lot of his teachings are rooted back to Russia so he might be a little different than what you expect um, from most beekeepers online he's okay with that because this is how he done it it has worked for him for a very long time he really believes in it and he has that's the reason why he teaches what he does this is exactly how he does it and um, he loves the whole process of beekeeping he really believes in his style he really believes in his style so the reason why we approach the mites more naturally and chemical free is because um, if you look into it um, there are some very harsh chemicals used on the bees to treat varroa mites and that will harm the bees, especially uh, the weaker colonies. And um, that's one reason why. And then the, the other reason, and the other side to this is that it could, if you have a lot of hives, treating it with chemically can very much so add up 
and beekeeping in general can add up very quick and our channel is more about uh, beekeeping on a budget and um, a lot of times people spend way too much money on beehives when they don't have to. We do have a couple videos on how we have our beehives set up and we do everything very uh, our way is super practical and um, very affordable and we try to keep it uh, on a budget throughout the whole year. It's so easy to end up spending a lot of money on beekeeping but what me and my dad are trying to say is that um, you don't have to. There's different ways around it and we focus a lot on those ways especially my dad coming from where he came from he he found different ways to work around it and that has helped him be very profitable in his beekeeping journey otherwise it may it's not worth it for some people and some even give up on it because it's too expensive so our strategies are actually very simple and um, they may just take a couple minutes. I mean, you have to look into your hive to check on the queen and the hive anyway. Uh, just incorporating those, you know, strategy in there could really help with varroa mites. And basically, that's all we do. Uh, we just use, you know, physical methods or just natural uh, medicine so that we don't harm the bees. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated.